What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment and in this video we're going to talk really quickly about a feature on your machine that you may not think about using or know how it works and that is going to be the differential lock. Now the differential lock is going to be a switch that looks like this right here inside of your cab and if you have watched any of my videos before what i have told you about this switch only is that if you are in a spot that you are really stuck make sure and turn this switch on but let's go ahead and break this down a little bit further and talk about what exactly this is doing in the rear end of your machine so at the rear end of your gator you are going to have the transmission and then right after that is going to be the differential that is going to send the power out to your rear wheels now what a differential does is it allows your wheels to spin at different speeds so for instance whenever we are using this machine and we are making turns one thing is is that outside wheel when we're making a turn is having to travel a lot further than the inside wheel therefore it's having to spin faster than that inside wheel and without having a differential both of those wheels will be spinning at the same speed you would possibly be tearing up the ground wherever you are working if you have that differential lock on so for instance in this example here we show this so in this clip right here this is going to be without the differential lock on as you can see it turns with ease that inside wheel is spinning at a slower rate than the outside wheel and then on this clip here this is where we're going to have the differential lock on and you can see how that inside tire is really starting to churn up and spin harder than the outside tire and that is because it's trying to spin at the same speed now there are instances where we are going to want to have this differential lock on and that's going to be in those instances like I I talked about whenever we may be having those issues with getting stuck or we may need just a little more traction so locking that differential in is like i said going to make those tires spin at the same speed allowing them to gain more traction now here is going to be another example this is with the machine up on jack stands here and as you can see with the differential lock off whenever we push on the gas both of those wheels are going to spin and then once it lets off you'll see one spinning a lot more freely than the other and then whenever we move to this other clip here with the differential lock on we can see that whenever we hit the gas both of those wheels are going to spin and then they're also going to slow down at the same time and that's because these are locked in and they are working at the same pace now the neat thing about a differential is that it is designed to know and to interpret whenever we're making these turns and being able to switch those speeds on the go so if you are working in those areas with grass or turf that you don't want to tear up we want to make sure and not use this feature but if we are in those situations again that we are going to get stuck or maybe we're going to need that extra traction then we definitely want to look into turning this feature on now keep in mind this is not only going to be on our utvs and atvs you may also see this on certain tractors as we can see here on a few different models we do have that differential lock on these and this is going to work the same way so with our tractors especially in these smaller models we may be using these on turf or on grass or when we're making those turns we want to have that same variation in speed for those wheels so we're not tearing up that ground but we also may want to get that extra traction so just know that whenever you are looking at getting the most out of your machine the most traction that you have and you have that differential lock option that we want to make sure and lock that in whenever we're in those situations so guys i hope this video helped you out i hope that you liked this video if you did we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel also guys if you are needing any john deere parts at all make sure to go check us out at 24 7 parts.com and as always guys thanks for watching we'll see you next time hey guys make sure to check out this cool video and this one buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here